Hey YouTubers, it's Vince Romano 26 here, and today I thought it would be a great chance for me to teach you guys more about these melted plastic popcorn decorations. These first surfaced in, I would say, the late 1960s based on my research, and they were very, very popular um, with people in those days because they were weather durable, meaning that if you put it out in the sun or the wind, the colors wouldn't fade, or actually, you know what, the colors did fade, I've seen pictures of them on eBay, but they would withstand the wind and the cold, and they're just really cool pieces. And I've been fortunate enough to pay 50 cents to about $3 a piece for these, which is what I recommend that you pay for them if you see them. Um, just a little background on them. These were made in... Connecticut by the Cage Company, and they produced them all the way into from the late 60s all the way through the 70s. So there's quite a few of them out there. My most expensive um, pieces that I've bought happen to be this jack-o'-lantern over here, and then I've got them over here. You see Noel, sorry, the Coke uh, light's blocking it. Got the Angel, and then over here. I have my Santa. Originally, I found that same Santa along with the Angel and the Noel sign at Goodwill for two ninety six, but his arm was missing, so I got rid of him. And then I found him again for three dollars. They're just really, really great pieces of decor. And for those of you who've been on my channel long enough, you know that I keep all of my um, holiday decor out all year round because it's vintage, and my whole room is dedicated to vintage. But what's so great about these is the fact that if you take care of them, they'll last you for years. And I know a lot of people on Etsy and eBay try to charge a fortune for these, but it's not worth your money. Get them at flea markets and estate sales and yard sales and, you know, you'll get them dirt cheap. Like I said, the least I've paid for one of these is 50 cents, and that was for my little witch friend over there. And then, you know, my second least expensive one happens to be this guy. I paid $2 for him from a flea market. And I'd wanted him for a long, long time, and I finally have him now. They're really, really nice, and I like the fact that they're very bright. They came with um, Halloween, the uh, sorry, the holiday themes, Halloween, Easter, Christmas, St. Patrick's Day, Valentine's Day. They had some really cool ones just for everyday life, like a smiley face, they had love, they had Thanksgiving, which I'm not really fond of. I don't like the Thanksgiving ones because it's all Indians and stuff like that I'm just not crazy about. So I'm going to probably stick to Halloween, Christmas, and Easter. I might want to get the turkey if I see it. I saw it once, but I passed it up because I was like, eh, I don't really want the turkey. But I think that's the only creature that I want from the... Uh, Thanksgiving line. But yeah, don't be afraid to pick these up. Even get them in bad shape if you can, because, you know, you can always replace them. But again, don't don't buy them on eBay or Etsy because, you know, people charge an arm and a leg for them. I have a little story to tell you about this witch here. I was sifting in a bunch of the um, Halloween decorations that this um, person was selling, and I was kind of just like, eh, this is all modern. I mean, it's not stuff that I really want. And then I saw the witch um, popcorn decoration. I was like, oh, that's really cool. And when I turned her around and I saw there was a price tag on her for 50 cents, I wasn't going to just leave her there. I was going to buy her. And I inspected her before I bought her, and everything seems to be all right with her. I don't know if that's a... No, that's definitely a uh, part of the... I thought it was chipped off or something, but it's not. So yeah, if you're interested in these, be sure to check out your local garage sales and thrift stores and flea markets, any place that you think you might have a shot at trying to find these. I know it's not a very large tip video, large, long um, video, but there really isn't a lot of information out on these. I've done my research and I found out that they were made in uh, Connecticut, and then they went out of business in the late 70s, but there really isn't a lot of information on these, which is very surprising. I have seen them at antique shops and people want to charge like 7 or $8, and I'm like, uh-uh. But yeah, I, honestly, I don't know really what else to tell you about them other than the fact that they're cool and that they were only around for about 10 years. And people do collect them. 
and they love to use them as throwback pieces. But yeah, I, I think that's all I've got for you today. Uh, if you have any other questions regarding these pieces, leave a comment down below. And if you haven't already done so, please remember to subscribe and check out my other videos. Thank you for watching.